time for your weekly financial workout with your elite personal trainers, Ryan and Bob Payne, guiding you on how to build a stronger and more robust financial plan. So get ready, we're about to pump you up. Live from the greatest city in the world, this is No Pain, No Gain. Good morning, this is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. I'm your host, Ryan Payne, president of Payne Capital Management. And my co-host today is Al Bob Payne, my father, chief investment officer, is away in Portugal. Of course, Bob's having all the fun and I'm here working. So I have a very special guest co-host today, my colleague, certified financial analyst level two, uh, Jen Angel. Good morning, Jen. Good morning, Ryan. Also future president. I don't know if you left that out or not. But. <laughs> oh, I'm being dethroned already. <laughs> Well, keep your eye on the prize, Jen. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if you want my headaches, I'm happy to give them <laughs> to you. So you can definitely have my headaches. But uh, yeah, excited yeah. to have you on the show this morning. I'm happy to be here. Hopefully, um, you know, I live up to Bob's expectations and everything else. I mean, I know you, you Payne's got a lot of you know high expectations, so I'm here to here to help. But no pressure. I mean, yeah. your hair is <laughs> almost as nice as Bob's, but not quite. Almost. <laughs> I know. Yeah. If you if you ever want to see Bob's magnificent hair, just go to bebullish.com and you can see. He Just, does have a nice head of hair. He does. I'm have, from, spending so much time on the golf course and all that. That's right. That's Green right. is very soothing for your head. <laughs> I've heard that. I've yeah. heard that. <laughs> it's real. <laughs> it's real. Well, you know, I, I looked up a couple financial statistics, Jen. I always try to find some fun facts for the show. And on bankrate.com, they ranked 162 college majors. And based on average annual income and unemployment rates, they try to determine what college majors were the most valuable. And if you look at the list, if you had a guess, what was the best major you could have in college? Is it not finance? It is not finance, believe it or not. Yeah. Um, finance is even in the top five, believe yeah. it or not. I mean, what I think is interesting is zoology is up there is pretty high. That's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> Who would have guessed? Number two on the list is actually zoology. That was like pretty shocking. I thought that was actually kind of awesome. I agree. I don't know why our parents never encouraged us to go into zoology <laughs> yeah, as opposed like to animals as kids and stuff. I mean, apparently that pays pretty well. So who knew? Well, right under actuarial science, which another one I would not have guessed yeah. would be one of the best jobs to get out of college based on your major. So who would have figured? Yeah. And of course, at the end, which I think most people would guess is at 162, last on the list was miscellaneous fine arts. Yeah. Tough to get a job. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know a lot of, I mean, you know, I, there's obviously the exceptions, right? Especially in New York, you have so many creative types that are like in the news and do so well. And then, you know, there's definitely a lot of them that are struggling for sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think maybe not getting that basket weaving major was a good <laughs> idea. <laughs> it's a long story right. short. Watercolors, things like that. Yeah, yeah, watercolors. I don't think you can do much. Yeah. There's not a big market for that. <laughs> well, we have a great show for you this morning to help you on your path to financial freedom. We're going to talk about procrastination. You know you're guilty of this when it comes to putting together your financial plan. Jen and I are going to discuss how to overcome putting off getting your financial life in order. We're going to talk about we don't know the unknowable, obviously. There's a lot of things we can't control when it comes to our planning and investing. We're going to address how to deal with some of these unknowable variables, along with this week's financial propaganda. There's a lot out there in the news, media, that you just need to stay away from at all costs. And we have our other star financial advisor on the show this morning, Francesca Lagrateria, or Frankie. She's going to talk about a real retirement plan she worked on, talk about some of the different things that she did to help a specific couple get on track with their planning and investing. So you can do the same with your own. So let's hop right to it. Jen, you and I, we work on a lot of financial plans every week. We probably, yep. probably yes, more, we than, <laughs> more than we like to count. And one thing we find is, you know, when it comes to putting together a plan, a lot of times, you know, you might be hesitant to sit down and do the financial planning because it's a little bit daunting. It's a lot of work. You know, what are some of the, the major reasons why we procrastinate when it comes to putting together, you know, really getting our financial life in order? Yeah. I actually, it's funny. I had a call last week with a woman who um, said, you know, I want to wait until it gets colder outside to start doing my finances. And I was like, 
Oh, okay. So, you know, she's like, call me around December. And I was like, well, what is, why? I mean, you just don't have, you don't have like 10 minutes to sit down at home and just put up all your statements together. She's like, I just want to wait until it's colder outside so that, you know, come <laughs> towards the beginning of the year, you want to do these things. I was like, there's no reason to procrastinate like that. I mean, that's just crazy. And we know from all the financial plans that we've done that it doesn't matter if it's warm or cold out. Yeah. <laughs> it's all going to come out the same. Yeah. <laughs> that was that just happened last week and I was like, wow. Well, mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I, you know, I think that, you know, barring weather, which, you know, could have an effect on your mood and things <laughs> yeah. like that. I mean, I think a big one is it's just hard to figure out who to listen to, right? There's so many talking heads. Mm-hmm. I guess arguably we could be talking heads too, but who to get advice from, right? I mean, there's just so many different messages out there that it gets a bit overwhelming. Yeah. You know, I get the question a lot, you know, I don't know where I am and, um, you know, not our clients because we tell them where they are, but, you know, specifically to people that are are not our clients yet or who would just have questions for me in general. Like, how do I know where to start? And just asking questions right up front is just, is where you start talking to someone who has an idea of at least where to guide you. Yeah. And I think a good red flag or, or a good litmus test for, Hey, I'm working with somebody who is a financial planner that I should be working with or not is are you talking about your goals first, Mm -hmm. right? I mean, everything should come back from, we talk about goal-based retirement. You have to begin with the end in mind. And if whoever you're working about is talking about products, talking about strategy, investments, and not talking about, hey, this is when I want to retire or I'm retired now. This is what I need to live on. I would say that's a major red flag. Yeah. Especially, you know, if we get calls and they say, you know, I, I don't know if I'm ready. I don't know if I'm ready for retirement. I do have an advisor. I'm like, well, why haven't you asked your advisor? And if you're not comfortable asking your advisor, you know, these questions, you don't have the right advisor. Yeah, absolutely right. If you've been working with someone and you've never run some retirement numbers, if you've never even looked at it, that's a major problem. Major problem. I th- you know, I think the other thing is we we get a lot too is just I'm too busy, right? Like I can't sit down and I can't work on my finances, which it's probably one of the most important things you can possibly do to protect you and your family long term, yep. but you put busyness above it. Why? Yeah. yeah, I got I mean, you know, clients who are, you know, I'm worried about my company. I'm worried about my company's, you know, performance for, you know, this quarter. I'm like, what about your own finances? What about your personal finances? We're like, you know, when you retire from this company, you're not going to be there forever. Right. So, you know, yes, it's important to your sales job or whatever it is that you get hit those numbers. But really, it's about your personal finances in the long run. And you can't just keep putting it off. Yeah, exactly. What are you doing it all for? So, you know, I think when you look at it and when you're thinking about doing this, it's not as daunting as you think. Everything is a process and it's step by step. So I think the first step to your point, Jen, and my point is, is just the fact that sit down and have a conversation, you know, start putting down just, it's very therapeutic to start putting down. Okay. This is when I might actually want to retire, you know, making those numbers real and everything can really go from there. And if you're thinking to yourself right now, I need to get serious about my finances. I need to sit down, start putting together a plan, make it as painless as possible, no pun intended. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you have over $200,000 safe for retirement, myself and Jen will put together our famous total financial master plan for you and we'll do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review where we look at everything. Simply bring those statements in, print them off the computer, put them in a brown paper bag or a folder. We're going to go through all of it for you. We're going to build you your own personalized portal so we can get a bird's eye view of your whole financial picture. And we're going to look at all the critical components. We're going to look at things like income. Income so critical for retirement. What is your income gap going to be? How are you going to replace it? We're going to show you how to optimize or increase the income on your portfolio. We're going to look at diversification what risks or hidden risks do you have in your portfolio? If the market goes down tomorrow, are you protected? We're going to show you how to bulletproof your portfolio. And we're going to look at fees. There's a lot of hidden cost and investment portfolios, those annuities, those mutual funds, brokerage products. We're going to show you where all the hidden costs are in your portfolio and how to reduce all that cost. Then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan, utilizing strategies now we have worked on for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. For the next 10 callers who have at least 200000 saved for retirement, all you have to do is call us and we will put a plan together. 
844-752-6692. Again, that's 844-752-6692. We're going to look at your income, your diversification of your portfolios, because I bet you're not as diversified as you think. And the fees associated with your portfolios for the next 10 callers who have at least 200000 saved for retirement. Again, that's 844-752-6692. Call or text us and we'll put a plan together. 844-752-6692. And you're listening to No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. Hi, I'm a cleverly devised personification of Wall Street. I'm one wild roller coaster ride away from wreaking havoc on your investments. And I love to mess with your emotions. If you're not properly diversified, you can bet I'll keep you up all night thinking about me. There's really only one way to keep me off your mind, and that's by coming in for a visit with the team at Payne Capital Management. They'll ease your fears about market volatility with their signature Total Financial Master Plan. They'll even help you get financially organized with their 360 financial portal. It's a great way to get all your statements in one place. Otherwise, when I take a plunge, I'll send you scrambling through your file cabinet hoping you're well prepared. Don't wait for turmoil to hit. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Schedule your visit with Payne Capital Management. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. It's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain Market Update with a team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. Hi, this is Ryan Payne filling in on behalf of Bob for this week's Market Update. Well, it was another action-packed week on the Street of Dreams as the trade skirmish between the U.S. and China heated up. On Tuesday, China slapped retaliatory tariffs of $60 billion worth of U.S. goods after the Trump administration imposed levies of about $200 billion worth of Chinese products on Monday. However, to many investors' surprise, despite the new tariffs, both the U.S. and Chinese markets rallied this week. In fact, the S&P 500 hit another all-time high. So this all leads us to conclude that the U.S. is just too strong right now, and new taxes on imported goods is just not enough to slow down this red-hot booming economy. In fact, if you put tariffs across the board on both countries, it's a four times bigger hit to China than it is to the U.S., given that they export four times as much as they import. Furthermore, with trade wars subsiding, we saw a weaker dollar, stronger oil prices, a spike up in the 10-year Treasury rate, and a strong rally in international stocks. You know, Market trends are clearly changing right now, is your portfolio positioned to take advantage of the changes in the economy and the market? To learn more about how you can properly diversify your portfolio for the future, give us a call or text us at 844-752-6692. That's call or text 844-752-6692. That's this week's Market Update. North, South, East, and really East. That's where you can find the Payne Capital Management Team. Serving North and South Florida, Connecticut, Philadelphia, and of course, right here in the Big Apple. Stay tuned for more No Pain, No Gain. It's Ryan Payne, Jen Angel, No Pain, No Gain, Financial Radio. And we like to keep things very simple for you. Common sense advice that you can use for your planning and investing. And that's why we put together our latest video series, what you need to know about an income you cannot outlive. It's just a great baseline to get started with the financial planning process, and you can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish. That's bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. What you need to know about creating an income you cannot outlive. Just to get started with the financial planning process, simply text the word bullish to 555-888. Download it for free. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. So Jen, there's many things that we have to deal with when it comes to 
you know, building a retirement plan, as you and I know. And you know, there's a lot of things when it comes to financial planning that are just unpredictable. You know, there's a lot of variables in place that you know we just don't know what's going to happen, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, definitely playing the what if game is a good thing to do. Yes, right. So, so some things that we don't know the exact answer to, we still need to address. So let's talk about some of those those major variables. And what I think about is just life expectancy. You know, we don't really know how long we're going to live. Yeah. And I mean, you know, I think you guys talked about this last week a little bit where, you know, we want to have originally you had, you know, X amount you should have in the stock market, right? When you're in your 60s or in your 70s. Right. But now people are living so much longer. And it's, you know, we want to run those projections as if they're living into their 90s because I have clients that have parents in their 90s and they're like, oh, I can't imagine myself living that long. I'm like, well, your parents are. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, we were probably at a point now we have more clients over the age 90 than we've ever had ever, yeah. right? And so longevity is something that our parents and your parents probably didn't have to plan for, but you have to plan for now because let's face it, if you retire at age 60, 65, that can be another 30 years yeah. that you're in retirement. That's crazy. And then those, you know, if you're in a, an assisted living place later on in life, if you're in all those, you know, which are crazy expensive, depending on where you live. But that's something you got to look at is if you don't have, you know, potentially those insurance products, you got to look at, OK, you might have to spend, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars later on in life. Yeah, there's just so many more expenses to plan for. And it's so critical to model those things out to your point, because it's like the good news, bad news. We're living longer. Bad news is there's probably higher odds you're going to have some sort of medical expenses that are unanticipated, and that stuff costs a lot of money. Yeah, and it's good to look at those numbers and make sure you got a plan in place just for that what if. Yeah, exactly right. It's a different type of plan that you're going to need for retirement, and you've got to account for a lot of different things that your parents didn't. So it's just a more dynamic plan. Moving to the markets as well, right? The markets are extremely unreliable and unknowable. And like one thing we hear a lot about now is interest rates. Well, you know, interest rate changes are a big deal. If interest rates go up, that could be bad for your bond portfolio. And, you know, the market could go down next year or it could go up next year. Now, how do we invest knowing that from year to year, markets are very, very unpredictable? Really? I had no idea, Ryan. <laughs> you never noticed? <laughs> um, <laughs> you living under a rock, Jim? <laughs> I mean, it's looking at, you know, the, that also includes inflation, right? So inflation is going to go up over time. If interest rates are rising, you know, having a structured portfolio that you can take advantage of interest rates rising later on, which you want to have the income coming in with higher quality bonds, higher interest rates. So that's really a good thing if you're positioned correctly. Yeah. And I think the big mistake we make is you don't want to position your portfolio for one thing happening. What I mean by that is you can't say, well, I'm pretty sure the market's going to go up this year, so I'm going to put more money into stocks. Or I'm pretty sure that you know interest rates are going to go up this year, so I'm not going to put money into bonds. Those all or none solutions are a very dangerous game to play because nobody really knows, right? If we really knew what was going to happen next, we'd be on our yacht, Jen. I know. <laughs> <laughs> in Miami, that's the goal. In Miami, I like that. You know, <laughs> I can see the blue waters now. So, so I think what's important when you're building your portfolio is you have to build what I like to call an all-weather portfolio, right? You, no matter what happens, you have to have something in your portfolio that accounts for that as opposed to having a portfolio that just is ready for one event that may or may not happen. Yeah, and every we talk about this a lot is diversification because you have no idea which asset class is going to be the best performer or, you know, which is going to be the new bubble that everyone's going to flock to, which let's stay away from those, you know, things like that, where we yeah. want to position ourselves where we have something that's always going to do well in the portfolio. Yeah. And that's why I love our 360 portal where we're able to just take all of your statements and we're just put, able to put them on a spreadsheet and we can see exactly where you're allocated because you probably don't really know where your risk is because let's face it, you probably have 401k over here. You might have an IRA over here with Morgan Stanley, and then you have a, you know, a brokerage account that uh, is over with another firm, and then a, a savings account. So when you put it all together collectively, you can really see where the risk lies. And I would argue you probably don't really know what risk you have or don't have. Because another thing I see is like a lot of times maybe you have too much cash and don't even know it. Especially a lot of those mutual funds too have cash in them that you're unaware of, and things like that. Where, you know, you just want to make sure you you have somebody looking at the whole, not just one piece of the entire pie. 
Yeah, there's no benefit. It's like you go to the doctor and your arm hurts. You know, the first thing they're going to do is they're going to check all your vital signs to see what's going on as opposed to just like treating the arm because it could be indicative of a much deeper problem with your overall you know, health, in this case, your financial health. Such a good analogy, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on a roll this morning, Jen. I'm on a roll this morning. Uh, another thing, too, which we spend a lot of time thinking about is tax rates, right? We don't really know where future tax rates are going to go because, you know, typically it's a political football. Depending on who's in power, taxes can go a lot of different ways. So, you know, how do you really handle dealing with taxes knowing that they could change pretty yeah. per- periodically, really? Yeah. And I think, you know, we do this a lot where we say, okay, you know, maybe you're retired before that age 70 and a half where you have to take those required distributions. You know, the IRS says, I want to get paid at your age 70, 70 and a half. And so between now and that point, you know, we have a lot of things we could do tax wise to help our clients where, you know, we know where they are now. So we can take advantage of those lower rates, depending on where you are tax wise now versus, you know, when they change later on. But at least when you have an idea of where they are now, let's take advantage of, you know, potentially those lower rates before you get hit with that bigger tax, you know, situation at 70 and a half. Yeah, exactly. Right. We don't know what tax will look like in the future, but there's so many things that you can do right now that you can take advantage of with taxes that, you got to keep consistently, and this is why a financial plan is a working document. You got to consistently be looking at that. And I, I would odds are you're probably not optimizing your portfolio for taxes. If you want to make sure your portfolio is optimized for taxes in retirement and through retirement, and you want to see if you're diversified, see how your actual portfolio looks from a diversification standpoint. And if you're one of the next 10 callers, we're going to look run for you our total financial master plan, which will look at the diversification. Again, look at you know all your accounts in one place. Say, okay, am, am I actually diversified? Do I have you know too much in the S&P, which might happen? Do I have enough income for retirement? Am I going to be able to live off this portfolio in retirement without having to pull from my principal? And then three, we're going to look at the fees you're paying. So any internal costs of those funds that you don't even know are there. We'll look at all of those things on our total financial master plan. Yeah. So if you give us a call or text right now at 844-752-6692, we'll give you the full review. Simply call or text 844-752-6692. Why not get a second opinion? Make sure you're on track for retirement. Call or text 844 752 6692. That's call or text 844 752 6692. If you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, you're one of the next 10 callers. We'll run the full review at 844 752 6692. This is no pain, no gain. Back to radio. It's time for Financial Propaganda of the Week. This is where Jen and I scour the daily financial news and call out the biggest offenders of offering obscene and profane financial guidance to help you protect yourself from making any ill-advised financial decisions. So Jen, what did you find out there this week in the very profane world of financial propaganda? Well, there was a lot this week about pot stocks actually, which we get questions about all the time. Which have been going higher, no pun intended. Yeah. (laughs) Yes, Uh they have. Recently, it was because Canada is actually legalizing pot come October. And then there was a bunch of things that came out from different companies who you know, are bringing pot to the U.S. for medical trials and all these things. So, And there was one stock in particular that rose like 40% on Wednesday. And I get the question a lot, you know, okay, now do I get in? Do I buy it now after right. it's risen 40%? I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> if it's in the news, that means it's already happened, right? So I get a lot of questions about, you know, do we invest in, in pot stocks? Is this the new Bitcoin bubble burst? You know, all these questions and, you know, it's who knows, right? Yeah. I mean, that's really the answer is... I don't know. And then I get, you know, is it going to depend on the elections? There was a few articles about, you know, if the Democrats win in November, then it's going to be great for pot stocks. And then then another article says the opposite. So it's like, who knows? 
Yeah, no, I think you're right. I mean, it's a lot like Bitcoin was earlier in the year. And, it, you know, the old saying is if it's news, it's not really news. Yeah. And, you know, typically when you have a big move up in something like that, and then Bitcoin, you know, come December, January, when it was hitting its all time high, I mean, everyone who had no interest in investing at all was calling me saying, right. how do I get into this Bitcoin thing? <laughs> And it's saying like, you know, the technology actually might be very viable. And I think, you know, the, the blockchain technology does have a lot of, a lot of uses, but to your point, who knows, right? right? In the short term, number one, if everyone is jumping on something at the same time, it's probably not a good deal. And, you know, the same thing with, with pot stocks, yep. you know, I know a lot of people in Canada that are actually working in that industry and yes, like there is definitely a promising future, but to your point, you have no idea how it's going to play out. You have no idea how it's going to play out in the U.S., and you certainly don't want to be buying these things right after things have just moved up dramatically. Yeah. yeah. And, in, you know, I, there are pot stock ETFs and there's all these ways to go about it in a less risky way than, let's say, like buying one stock. But, I mean, you know, I wouldn't recommend it to my clients, especially in retirement or, you know, that one invest 10% of their portfolio or something crazy, some crazy number into one stock. Absolutely not. Yeah. If you have a cowboy or cowgirl account yeah. and you can afford to lose the money, I always say that's a good rule of thumb for buying things like that. Yeah. I mean, I think it also reminds me a little bit like like the internet and TV. I remember back in... I'm going to age myself here a little bit, Jen. <laughs> <laughs> back in the late 90s, early 2000s, you know, there was a prediction that you, know, you weren't going to watch TV anymore because of the internet. Now you're going to watch everything streaming. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, we are streaming now, but it's literally almost 20 years later that we're actually starting to adapt those technologies. So even though it was a great idea back in 1999, 2000, it took a long time to take off. Yeah. So I think a lot of these things too, it could take a long time to take off. So don't expect to put money into one of these hot areas and make a lot of money overnight. Right. That's financial propaganda. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> I found an interesting article. I always look for those extreme calls in the market that people are making week to week. And one of the bigger offenders this week in financial propaganda was Bank of America Merrill Lynch, which happens to be my alma mater. I spent many years at Merrill Lynch. And one of their analysts over there predicts the great bull market in quotes, because it's been a very big booming bull market that you know, came after the financial crisis. This all came after 2008 that we've been in this magnificent bull market is going to slow down because of slower economic growth, rising interest rates, too much debt. Bottom line is the great bull market now is dead, Jen. So dramatic. (laughs) So dramatic. (laughs) The great bull market is dead. I saw that too. I mean, it's just, that's crazy. And (laughs) There's so many analysts who would disagree with this too. So it's, you know, yes, it's got big headlines because there's, you know, X amount of people that think that, okay, this is over. But then in the flip side, there's so many people that think it's not over. So it's who's right? Right. (laughs) Who is right? (laughs) No, and I think it goes back to what we had talked about a little earlier on the show, but these all or none decisions on your portfolio, it doesn't pay. We, We don't really know. I mean, the bottom line is the economy is very strong right now. And if anything, this bull market could continue for a lot longer. So to make a big bet and all of a sudden the markets are going to decline and get your money out of the market is is a crazy strategy to use. He's also mostly just talking about the U.S. market. So you have to consider that there's so many other markets out there. There's emerging markets, international, um, you know, all these other sectors that are not part of that exact conversation. Yeah. And that's something you and I see all the time when we sit down with clients is that a lot of times, if you look at the way your portfolio is invested, you know, we see a heavy concentration in U.S. stocks, which is great when U.S. stocks are doing well, but they don't always do well, and that could be a real problem in your portfolio down the line. Yeah, and if we see a, a downturn, which, you know, again, we don't know if that's going to happen, but it might. You know, those stocks get hit very hard in those downturns. It's the old saying, you live by the sword, you die by the sword. I've never heard that, Ryan. (laughs) (laughs) I I, I use it a lot, Jen. He uses it in every meeting. (laughs) (laughs) But I think that's the point, too. But I think with your portfolio, and again, this is why I love what we do, our 360 portal, and we look at everything from that bird's eye view. It's just really important to understand how you're allocated across all your different portfolios. Like I think about a couple we met with this past week that were in their mid-60s. They had almost 100% of their money in the stock market. Crazy. In U.S. stocks. And man, you know, they're sitting on a ticking time bomb because if anything goes wrong, like this analyst from Bank of America is right yeah. and the bull market is dead, well, so is their portfolio. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It 
makes me so nervous just to see their portfolio and see their age, right? They don't have the time to make up those 30% dips. And that's the difference I think we always forget is when the, we had the great recession back in 2008 and the market collapsed, you know, we were all 10 years younger and we had the time to make it up. You know, maybe we were still working, we could add to our portfolios. But now, you know, you're 10 years older, you might be in retirement now or close to retirement. You just don't have the time and you're not going to be making the money like you were when you retire to make it up again. So you really have to transition your portfolio. Yeah. And you can't afford the 30% dips, 30, 40, 50. I mean, no. Yeah. If you have a million dollars to see it go down by four hundred, five hundred thousand dollars $500,000, that's unnerving when you're ready to retire or in retirement. Yeah. You can't retire. So that's just crazy. It is just crazy. So you know, if you're thinking to yourself right now, like I need to know what kind of risk I have in my portfolio. I need to know what kind of diversification I have. I don't want to put all my money into pot stocks. Here's your shot to do it. Uh, we still have a couple slots left. If you give us a call right now and you have over $200,000 safe for retirement, myself and Jen will run for you our total financial master plan. We'll do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review that encompasses everything. Just print off those statements, put them in a folder, bring them in the office. We're going to build you your own personalized portal so we can take a bird's eye view of everything that you own. And we're going to look at all the critical components. We're going to look at things like income. Income is so critical in retirement, having a reliable stream of income. We're going to show you how to optimize or increase the cash flow on your portfolio. We're going to look at fees. There's a lot of hidden fees in investment portfolios, those annuities, mutual funds, brokerage products. We're going to show you how to reduce costs on your portfolio. And we're going to look at diversification. Are you protected against the next big decline in the market? Where are the pitfalls in your portfolio? We're going to show you how to bulletproof your portfolio. Then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan, utilizing strategies now we've worked on for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. So all you need to do is call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. And Ryan and I will put together our total financial master plan, including the look at your income, We'll look at your diversification and we'll look at the fees you're paying. Just give us a call for the next 10 callers who have at least 200000 saved for retirement. 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. Time for some New York City trivia. Did you know in the winter of 1780, it was so cold that the New York Harbor froze over? You could have walked from Manhattan to Staten Island on the ice. Let's hope it doesn't get that cold ever again. Although, if you had some sled dogs, it could do wonders for the commute. Anyway, keep listening to No Pain, No Gain. Mush! This is No Pain, No Gain, Financial Radio. And we like to give you practical, common sense advice every week. And that's why we put together our latest video series, What You Need to Know About Creating an Income You Cannot Outlive. Just a great baseline to help you get started with a financial planning process. And you can download it for free. Simply text the word BULLISH, that's BULLISH, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. That's the word BULLISH, to 555-888. What you need to know about creating an income you cannot outlive. Get the basics down. Get started with the financial planning process. You can download it for free. Simply text the word BULLISH to 555-888. That's the word BULLISH to 555-888. And if you want to learn a little bit more about paying capital management, you can simply go to BeBullish.com. And yes, you can check out Bob's hair there. It's real. Just go to BeBullish.com. You can sign up for the show every week delivered to your inbox. Go to BeBullish.com. You can catch me most weeks on Fox Business News, CNBC with the latest market commentary. And if you ever have a question you want to ask myself, Bob, or Jen, simply email us, questions at BeBullish.com. That's questions at BeBullish.com. We'll answer your questions directly. And if it's a really good question... 
We'll answer it right here on the show and help us with questions today. We have our all-knowing, I think that's a good way to put it, producer, Mark Haywood. I'm trying to find the best adjective I could to describe you, and I think all-knowing is apt. All-knowing. Wow. I feel so empowered now on this show. <laughs> <laughs> I was so smart now. Oh, man. Jen, it's going right to your head. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Don't let it go to my head. Stay humble. Jen, how are you enjoying taking Bob's seat as he's off traveling the globe? You know, I don't mind it. Uh-oh. I'll come back. I'll do this again. If you're like a velvet glove, Jen. <laughs> <laughs> if you're listening, Bob, you better watch out. You may not have a chair when you come back. We may just <laughs> keep you out on what's called permanent vacation. <laughs> of course, that could backfire, Ryan. I don't know if Bob might not mind that permanent vacation at this point. So will just yeah. be asking to send the check. <laughs> <laughs> Better be careful what we wish for. Oh, man. <laughs> exactly. uh, well, let's move on before I get Ryan in trouble. Let's go to uh, Peggy in Great Neck, Long Island. Peggy writes in, Jen, I'm probably not what you'd consider a very savvy investor. I've always saved a lot for the last 35 years, and I have a pretty big 401k balance. But I really have no idea how I should be investing my current dollars or my future savings. Have I significantly handicapped myself by not having more knowledge about how the investing world works? Well, Peggy, you're in trouble. Just kidding. (laughs) (laughs) We can't help you. Thanks for writing in. (laughs) Take care and brush your hair. (laughs) No. So we have a lot of clients, actually, that you know, have never had the the knowledge of investing, which, yeah. you know, and I think it is happens a lot where, you know, they just want to, they don't know, need to know the details, the nuances of everything, but at least getting a general understanding of, you know, what their investments are doing for them. And I think that's one thing that we do really differently than a lot of our competitors is that we really try to at least give, you know, knowledge to our, our clients you know, every time we talk to them, say, you know, here's what's happening in the market and here's, you know, what I want to add money into, you know, here's what's going on in your portfolio and here's why. Yeah. And just having someone who can help you navigate those tools, right? Yeah, exactly right. Because it's like, hey, if I'm going to save money, I think number one, it's nice to understand if it's just high level, yeah. why we're going to put the money where we're going to put it. But I think it goes back to what we talked about earlier in the show. It's got to be in the context of your plan, right? Yeah. Everything's got to have a purpose. You know, planning on purpose is probably a good way of putting it. It's not like, hey, let's just take this money every month and put it into a mutual fund. It's really about what's most effective, where's the most effective place to put this money to make sure that you're getting to your goals. Yeah, and we see it a lot where we see you know clients who come to us and you know new clients who say you know, bring us a portfolio and it's just a basket of stocks or it's just you know a hodgepodge of investments and there's really no rhyme or reason to any of it and it's really not a plan right it's not you know those individual stocks you're holding yeah maybe they've done well but that's not part of your investment plan right that's not part of your retirement goals it's just yeah, they've done well for a while, but you know, what does that mean for you long term? Yeah, and just practicality, like how are you going to use those investments to live off them at some point, right? The whole point of saving for retirement is you need a structured plan to actually use those investments for your lifestyle at some point. And I always say it's that transition from when you're working, you're in that wealth accumulation stage, but as you get close to retirement and into retirement, you're going into what we call the wealth distribution stage, and that's the time you really got to get serious about building your portfolio in the context of a plan as opposed to I have this proverbial collection of investments. Yeah. And I think that's something that, you know, our portal does really well, looks at everything all together. I mean, our clients have access to it where they can just log in and see how it's doing, make sure they're on track. And, you know, I think that's as long as you have an idea of what your investments are doing for you, that's really important. Yeah. So I think the bottom line is, Peggy, it sounds like you need to start the planning process with just figuring out where you want to go and then work back from there. Yeah, thanks for writing in, Peggy. We wish you the best. And of course, Ryan and the team are always willing to step in and help you out if you have any more specific questions you'd like to ask them. Let's move over now to Bobby. Bobby is in Wayne, and Ryan will let you take this one. He says, I looked forward to retirement for many years, but now that I'm actually retired, I can't shake the feeling that I'm eventually going to run out of money. Is there any solution for fighting this feeling other than simply spending less or going back to work? Right. The age old question, is your money going to outlive you or are you going to outlive your money? And we definitely want our money to outlive us, which is the right place to be, Bobby. So yeah, I think the important part about your financial plan is we always talk about it's not a set it and forget it type of thing. Yeah. Right, Jen? It's not like, hey, 
we put the plan together when we first retired. Now let's hope 20 years later it worked or not. Ha ha. Yeah. And that's why I think it's so important that your financial plan is a working document. So by sitting down periodically with your financial advisor and making sure you're on track, I think helps you sleep better at night and make sure that you're not going to run out of money. Yeah, and that's why, you know, we sit down with our clients at least once a year or if any, you know, big life changes happen, right? If they have another grandkid or if, you know, they want to spend X, Y, and Z in a new condo or, you know, something happens in their life because things are going to change periodically, not just once a year. You know, looking at all those things as you go on and through retirement, not just, you know, one time make a plan and then, you know, kind of leave it and hope it, hope it works. <laughs> yes. Ongoing planning helps you sleep better at night. You should write that down. Yeah. So make sure that whoever you're working with is addressing that because, you know, like we talked about earlier in the show, again, tax laws are going to change. Market conditions are going to change. And like to your point, Jen, like your financial needs can change at different parts of your life all that stuff needs to be adjusted. So if you have questions like Bobby, who wants to know, am I going to run out of money? Or Peggy, who just wants to have, you know, a little bit more information about her, what her actual investments are doing for her and putting a plan in place. If you have over 200,000 saved for retirement, we will put together a total financial master plan, which is going to include looking at your income in retirement. Do I have enough money to live off of into and through retirement? What are your fees that you're actually paying, right? What kind of fees are you paying on those 401ks, those investment accounts, fees that you don't even know are there? We'll look at all of those. And then three, diversification. Looking at, you know, how diversified are you? We see more often than not, you're actually invested in all the same things in all of your different accounts. You just had never looked at them all in one place. So we'll look at all those things for you on our 360 portal, actually build a financial plan for you. And we'll tie everything together in our total financial master plan. We'll look at your goals. Can we get you from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success? We'll build you a total financial master plan, again, looking at diversification, your fees, and your income. So don't waste time. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's call or text 844-752-6692. We still have a couple slots left. If you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, call or text us now at 844-752-6692. 6692. That's 844 752 6692. Get a second opinion. Make sure you're on track for retirement. Call or text 844 752 6692. That's 844 752 6692. This is no pain, no gain on Ash Radio. Hi, it's Ryan and Bob here, and we want to talk to you about your cash. Bob, many of us are sitting on a lot of cash right now in our businesses and personal savings accounts, and rest assured the banks are taking full advantage of our dormant cash. That's right, Ryan. Not only do you have to worry about FDIC insurance limits, but most savings accounts pay close to 0%. Exactly right, and that's why we're putting together short-term CD ladders so you can have increased FDIC coverage, and not to mention rates that are in many cases double what your local savings and local checking accounts are paying. If you want to learn more about how to manage your cash better, simply text the word CASH, that's C-A-S-H, CASH, to 844-752-6692. That's text the word CASH, C-A-S-H, to 844-752-6692. Here's this week's Spotlight on No Pain, No Gain. It's no pain, no gain, financial radio. And one of our missions here at Pain Capital Management is to give you practical, common sense advice. And that's why we put together our latest video series, What You Need to Know About Creating an Income. You cannot outlive. Just a nice way to get started with the financial planning process. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish. That's bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. The word bullish can be text to 555-888. What you need to know about creating an income you cannot outlive. Just a great baseline to get the financial planning process started. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. And this is my favorite segment of the show. This is where we actually look at 
a real retirement plan and we look at things that can be approved upon. And to do that today, we have our star financial advisor, Frankie Lagrateria, <laughs> Francesca from Lagrateria. You can say it so many ways, but simply Frankie. <laughs> and as we always talk about, it's awesome to be one of Frankie's financial friends. What's going on, Frank? Great to have you on the show. Hey, Ryan. Hey, Jen. Hey. How you guys doing this morning? Thanks for having me. We are honored, as always, to have uh, have you on the show and uh, you know give us some of your financial knowledge. And I know you worked on a case recently, and you wanted to talk about it on the show this morning. So why don't you give us the rundown and just talk about some of the things that you did to help this person specifically get on track with their finances. Yeah, so I know um, this is something that I know I've seen a lot. Jen and her accounts have seen a lot. We're, we're working with people's parents or working with people's grandparents, and they're like, hey, you know, I have a kid who is starting to make money, is starting to make a name for themselves, and is sitting all in cash. We don't like that. We don't like cash, right, Ryan? <laughs> what amazes me, I mean, because we see this a lot, right? Millennials, it's hard to believe, are making really good money now. And unbeknownst to everyone, they actually have a lot of money saved, and they need to figure out what to do with it. Other than, you know, buying avocado toast. Yeah, I hate that, you know, millennials do actually have money, so <laughs> give us a little credit here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we inherited it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> But regardless, so I had this this person come in and, you know, she has done a great job saving. She works very hard. She has, you know, a few different, you know, jobs that she's doing, you know, a few different, as the millennials say, side hustles. And now she has this cash account built up and she's wanting to sit down and say, what do we do with it? You know, how do I get my different buckets in order, my, you know, cash account for her and her kid, her, you know, growth assets, because she is young and needs this money to outpace inflation and, you know, save for retirement. And then also a little bit of safety side, because, you know, what if there's a crash? She doesn't want to be, you know, risking a 2008 where she loses everything. Yeah. And this is kind of universal. Jen, you can talk about this too. But I mean, what we find is there's a good chance you probably got burnt in 2008 when the market collapsed, and you're probably sitting with way too much cash right now, and you need to figure out what to do with it. Yeah, and I definitely see this a lot where, you know, especially our millennial clients too, you know, they, they sell a home and they have X amount in cash, or they inherit, you know, X amount from their grandparents or from their parents, and they don't know what to do with it. And they're nervous about where to put it. They're nervous about who to trust, who to talk to. And that's really, you know, where we come in, where you can give them honest, and independent advice and not selling them products, which is definitely millennials don't like. <laughs> yeah, I think anybody likes that. I think that goes across <laughs> the board. I mean, our baby boomer clients are the same. No, absolutely. So what we did was, you know, what I sat down with this person and we went through their expenses, you know, starting with number one, what are you spending? What are you bringing in? Let's go with those basics, you know, what do you need? We got that safety side bucket for her where I said, okay, well, here's three to six months of cash for you because you know you need to have your savings account you know already taken care of before you start worrying about your other buckets then we started looking at you know how much can we risk you know how much do we not need to touch right now that we can let grow for you because even if it is another 2008 scenario happens there's a market crash there's a correction if we're not looking to touch this money for another 20 30 40 years chances are you're going to be okay <laughs> Yeah, exactly right. And I think that's the other thing too, Jen, you talked about this earlier on the show. If you're getting close to retirement right now, retirement could last like 30 years. So you've got to have the right amount of money at risk. And a lot of times you can't afford just to be sitting in cash because you think it's safe because the problem is cost of living is going up dramatically, right? If you look at a million dollars today is worth a half a million dollars in 20 years, your purchasing power is going to be cut in half. Yeah. Just looking at the longevity because that's for sure. I mean, you have kids, grandkids are going to outlive you and, you know, potentially in retirement, you have 20, 30 years we need to plan for. So looking at, you know, all those costs going up over time, because that's definitely, definitely real. Absolutely. And then the next thing we did was we did sit down and we said, okay, all right, well, what about some fixed income? And I know a lot of people are saying, you know, I'm too young for bonds. And I think that's crazy. <laughs> but uh, you want to have a little bit of something so that if there is a 2008, Yes, maybe that's not going to affect you in the long term, but why don't we use it as an advantage? Why don't we use it as a buying opportunity? If you have <laughs> fixed income that did well for us in 2008, we can take profits and rebalance, right? So that's yes. A, that's a chessboard piece right there. 
I like the way you put that, and I think that's something we don't talk about a lot because we, had, again, Jen and I sound with them, a very aggressive investor this past week in their 60s, almost all their money in equity. But the problem is if the market goes down, which is always a great buying opportunity, you have nowhere to pull money from to buy when the market's down. So even though you might be saying to yourself, I'm getting close to retirement, I'm in retirement, I don't like bonds, they really do help you, especially if the market goes down. Not only is your portfolio going to go down less, but it gives you the opportunity to buy. And that's one of the key, key things you want to be able to do in your portfolio. Absolutely. And then the last thing that we did was just make sure we got her you know, some investments with some income. Again, you know, even though she's not looking, you know, she has a job, she has those side hustles like I talked about, she doesn't need it. Again, we're going to dollar cost average. We're going to get that good pricing. We're going to let that compound, eighth world wonder, and keep growing for you. And it's going to be better for you long term. We love compounding. Woo woo. Compounding's king. <laughs> yeah. And that, that's an important point just because, again, as you're getting close to retirement, in retirement, you don't know what the market's going to do year over year. So having like a consistent, steady stream of income coming in your portfolio that's reliable is just so, so critical. And you've got to convert your portfolio to do that. And if you're sitting there thinking to yourself, I need a plan like this, or maybe my kids need a plan like this and my grandkids, here's your shot to do it. We have a couple slots left. If you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, you call us or text us right now. Myself, Jen, Frankie, and who wouldn't want to be one of Frankie's financial friends, are going to run for you our total financial master plan. We'll do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review that's going to address every facet of your financial life. So if you simply just bring in those statements and I'll put them in a folder, print them out off the computer, we're going to take all of that stuff. We're going to build you one personalized portal where you can review everything in one place and we're going to be able to look at everything from a bird's eye view. We're going to look at all those critical components. Are you generating enough income on your investments for retirement? What's your income gap? We're going to show you how to optimize or increase the income on your portfolio. We're going to look at diversification. What if another 2008 hits? What if the market does crash? Are you protected? What pitfalls do you have in your portfolio? We're going to show you how to bulletproof your portfolio. And we're going to look at those pesky fees. There's a lot of hidden costs in investment portfolios. Those annuities, mutual funds, brokerage products. We're going to show you where all the hidden costs are. We're going to show you how to reduce that cost. Then we're going to tie it all together. And we're going to determine that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies now, we've been working on for four decades to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. We have a few slots left for the next few callers who have at least 200000 saved for retirement. Please give us a call at 844-752-6692 and we will run for you our total financial master plan. Again, it's 844-752-6692. If you want to make sure that you have enough income in retirement, look at your diversification and look at those internal fees that you're paying. We will look at all of those things for you in our 360 portal. Again, for the next few callers, we have a few slots left. If you have at least 200000 saved for retirement, 844-752-6692. Again, that's 844-752-6692. All right. Well, great show. Great having you, Frankie, as always. Yes, I love this female takeover. <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm outnumbered. And Jen, I mean, it was amazing to have you as my co-host today. It was so fun. Yeah, it, it was It was fun. You know what? It was a really good time. You know, Jen Financial Angel, Frankie LaGrateria, be one of Frankie's financial friends. I mean, this Ooh. is like, this is the crew right here. Thanks for being on the show, guys. The dream team. The dream team. <laughs> we're on a millennial role. Squad goals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what that means. <laughs> Well, another great show. Have a great rest of the weekend. And as always, be, be bullish. bullish. Information provided on today's show is provided for information purposes only and does not constitute investment, tax, or legal advice. Information has been obtained from sources that are deemed to be reliable, but their accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed. Always consult with an investment, legal, or tax professional before taking any action.